Hi, so in the previous section we were able to edit, create, delete, and even show details of our items. Still, we have a major issue here, that anyone can enter any value and will still go into our edit database. So in order to fix that, we have to add some validation rules. And ASB MVC will take care of enforcing them and showing the appropriate message for the user. So let's start with adding a using statement here. Three using statements. So system dot data annotation actually it's a component model dot just this one is here and using system system dot component model dot data annotation and using system dot web dot mvc now let's go ahead and enter some validation rules here. So the first validation rule is called bind. And bind uh, lists fields to exclude or include when binding parameters or form values to model properties. So here we are going to bind exclude. So let's just write bind. No, bind. And to pay here, exclude. Exclude, 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 yeah, that's right. And here to be item ID, that's it. And for item ID, we don't want to show this for our, so we're going to have a property called the scaffold column, uh, and we're going to set it to false, and it allows us to hide fields from editor form. So just type in here scaffold column and set, set it to be false. And for our category ID here, we want it to display a name for it to be category instead of category ID. So here, just type in uh, display, display name to be uh, category. And for producer ID also to be the same to be to display a, a name to be producer. So display name and to be producer. Yep. And for the title here we're going to use required and it indicates that the property is required is a required field. And we're going to show a message if the user didn't uh, add this uh, Field. So let's go ahead and add it. Required to be here to display error message. To be an item title is required. Yep. And also, we are going to use string lengths, and basically, um, makes the user gives it gives a maximum lens for a string field. So let's add this here to be string lens, string lens to be 160. And for the uh, price here, we also want to have a required. So Let's just copy here, paste it, and to be. We actually want a user to have a maximum and minimum uh, price also. So after we add a required, we are going to add a range for the price. So for the required here, we have to add price is required. And for the range, range is basically like string lengths, also add a range for the user, but it's a numeric field. So here, type in range and to be 0 0.1, 0, uh, no, 100. Actually, here, yeah, 100. And to display an error message. If the user entered anything all, uh, else, so here the price must be 
between 0 and 1 and 100. Um, it's just there, uh, yeah. That's fine, I guess. And for item URL here, we are going to have to put a display name to be item item art URL. And for the string length, string length to be under four, that's fine. 